The CCNP Switch Exam is one of three exams on the Cisco Certified Network Professional Certification track. The other exams on this track are Route and T-Shoot. The CCNP Switch Exam covers the planning, implementation, and configuration of complex enterprise switching solutions using Cisco's campus enterprise architecture. The exam also covers the secure integration of VLANs, WLANs, voice and video into campus networks. You should be prepared to implement Layer 2 and Layer 3 solutions for security and switching. The exam consists of 52 questions. These questions are multiple choice and drag and drop and also include hands-on sims, simlets, and testlets designed to test your practical knowledge. The passing score is unpublished. It usually depends on the types of questions offered in a particular exam. You have two hours to take the exam. In order to take the exam, you must first register with Pearson View. Have personal identification, such as a social security number and a credit card ready when registering. Pearson View can aid in finding the closest testing center to you. They can also help you by phone if necessary. Many examinees find the following topics to be more difficult portions of the exam. The drag and drop questions can pose difficulties. To earn all of the points for these, you have to complete tasks such as putting a list of things in the correct order or organizing a list of things into groups. While this might sound simple, it usually isn't. A good memory for details is required. The exam also includes one or more scenario-based questions. Just one of these questions includes a long problem description that sets up the scenario a network diagram, and one or more simulated switches that require your interaction. You will probably have to connect to each simulated switch and enter configuration commands based on the goals presented in the description text. The scenarios usually require you to verify that each feature or function you have configured is working correctly. The scenario-based questions can also become somewhat of a juggling act. The exam screen doesn't have enough area to display the description, network diagram, and simulated switch console simultaneously. As a result, you have to toggle between reading, viewing the diagram, and entering commands on each switch as you work through the scenario question and all of its parts. Time is also an issue because scenario-based questions are a time burner. It's just one question out of the 52 possible exam questions, but it consists of so much interaction and so many configuration steps that you'll spend quite a bit of time on it. How much time will you, or should you, spend on one? That's difficult to answer because it isn't clear how many more scenario-based questions you will get as the exam progresses. We advise you budget your time as wisely as you can. In order to prepare for the exam, we recommend that you review the exam objectives found at the Cisco Learning Network. Cisco has made the exam objectives purposefully generic. The focus is on planning, implementation, and validation of broad LAN switching tasks, not on individual switch protocols or features. But in order to complete these tasks, you will still have to know switch features and protocols inside and out. Finally, take advantage of the Cisco Learning Network. You can pose questions and often get multiple answers in just minutes. It's a hugely popular place for folks to collaborate on their path towards Cisco certification. For primary study, we recommend the CCNP Switch 642.813 Official Certification Guide by David Huckabee. We also recommend the CCNP Switch 642.813 Cert Kit, which includes video, flashcard, and quick reference materials. Additionally, we recommend implementing Cisco Switch Network's Foundation Learning Guide. You may also find it helpful to look at the scenarios posted at Ponder the Network. PearsonITCertification.com is your trusted source for certification preparation materials, including books, ebooks, videos, flashcards, simulations, and more. Connect to us via Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and subscribe to our On Certification channel in iTunes. If you haven't already, make sure you have achieved your CCNA certification, as it is a prerequisite for most other Cisco certifications. The LAN switching content found in CCNA forms a natural starting point for the switch exam. The CCNP certification consists of three exams, 
route, switch, and t-shoot. If you decide to pursue the CCNP, you should start with either the route or switch exams. Once you have those foundations complete, move on to the t-shoot exam. You may also choose to pursue additional professional-level certifications in addition to the CCNP, the Cisco Certified Design Professional, which also requires the switch exam, or the Cisco Certified Internetwork Professional. Good luck!